Unlike traditional drum heads, today's modern versions are resistant to fluctuations in humidity, making the drum heads more reliable in a variety of conditions. The drum head begins with the cutting of plastic film into circles. Evans Craftsman loads several sheets of the plastic into a die cutter that uses 75 tons of pressure to cut circles that match drum head sizes. Two ply heads and heads with internal flaps are taped together using a vacuum turntable. The suction keeps the first ply of film in place while a ring of double sided tape is applied. The operator then affixes the second ply or internal flap. The film circles are then put on a computer guided drill press in stacks, where the machine drills tiny holes along the outer edge. Later in the manufacturing process, when liquid epoxy is poured into the hoop, it will flow through the holes in the film and dry, securing the film permanently in the aluminum channel. The taped and drilled circles are then brought to a bending machine where they are molded into the familiar shape of a drum head. Evans bending dies only apply heat to the outer inch of the film so that the center of the head remains unaffected by heat. This is a patented Evans process called low temperature forming. Meanwhile, a roll forming machine uses a series of pressured rollers to gradually shape an aluminum strip into a hoop. The first roller imprints a knurl into the aluminum, tiny dimples that improve the bond between the aluminum and the epoxy. The next series of rollers fold the outer edge of the aluminum strip inward, creating Evans' unique rollover hoop profile which prevents the film and epoxy from pulling out when the head is under tension on a drum. Then the rollers force the edges of the aluminum strip into a U-shape. When the channel-shaped aluminum exits the far end of the machine, it's sent through a series of horizontal rollers that bend it into its appropriate size. Once the machine finishes forming the hoop, a small built-in circular saw cuts the end. The hoop must now be soldered together. An operator loads each hoop onto a rotating soldering jig, placing the ends together. A bead of silver solder is deposited on the joint. Then, natural gas torches melt the solder, fusing the hoop closed. Next, water cools the solder and the jig ejects the finished hoop. Once complete, the hoops are mounted on walls until they are ready to join the film to create a finished head. When the film is placed into the hoop, it must be perfectly level and centered. Otherwise, when the head is tightened while tuning, the short side would receive tension from the counter hoop before the high side destroying the balance in tension that is necessary to tune a head properly. This critical assembly step is done on the Evans Gluing Gantry, an Evans-designed custom-built machine on which the heads are placed on circular vacuum fixtures that are perfectly level. As suction holds each head steady, a robotic arm dispenses the epoxy into the aluminum hoop. The glue fills down through the tiny drilled holes along the perimeter of the film, then dries anchoring the head securely into the hoop. Slightly less than half of all drum heads receive a textured coating on the surface that produces a swoosh sound when played under brushes. The even motion of the conveyor and spinning fixtures allows for a consistent coating across the surface of the head. Once the coating dries, the head purging machine stamps on the Evans logo. The heads are now complete and ready to be packaged.